Okay, everybody, welcome back to Jail Garage. Today we're gonna to be taking a look and poking around on the 7.3 saw. Just wanna check out the bumper, maybe clean up the interior a little bit. Just give it another nice little walk around before we really start getting into it later this winter. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so first things first, at some point, uh, I would like to, in fact, get the front drive shaft fixed and get it installed back into the truck. That way we have four wheel drive in case we absolutely need it. Not really a necessity during the summertime unless we go off-roading, but it's still nice just knowing that it's there. I will sand it down, paint it, just so it looks good. Probably get a new boot for it and all, but. So the rear bumper, it's kind of bent downwards. I would like to, at some point, get this fixed. So we're probably gonna mess with this today for the, today's video and check out some of the things around the body. So we're gonna pull this bumper off, probably see if we can get it to sit up straight and probably get it back into shape. Tailgate's not bent by any means. It opens and stuff, so uh, the truck did not have the bed on it originally. Uh, they were using the truck, I believe, for hauling hay and stuff around, so the bed kind of just, it's got some dents. Something I did notice too when I first got it was, this is kind of the only real rust spot. You know, it's not really that bad. It looks like mostly just surface rust right, on, right around the paint. So no big deal. Frame does have some surface rust on it. The rims are kind of rusted and whatnot, but you know, it's it's an older 94 F-250. So it's been around for quite a while and it's also been up north. So, you know, but overall body is in fairly decent shape for being a project truck to say the least. You know, a couple dents and things in it and stuff. And this side looks mostly good as far as being straight and all. So. We're just gonna roll with it for now. We'll leave that alone. Rear bumper, we'll check that out in a second. Uh, I think I do have something in my toolbox to actually get that stuff off. This will probably work, this little phenolic, phenolic scraper. So uh, you'll commonly see these in aviation a lot. Phenolic scrapers are, they work wonders. So don't have a heat gun or anything to heat this up. So we'll just probably try to see if we can get this off here. So wasn't expecting this to work as well as it actually is. Just these little cheapo alcohol prep pads right here. So just to get that adhesive off. It does pretty nice. We'll go back and probably get another wipe down with a clean pad and that way we get the rest of the oil and the contaminants off of the bottom side of the power stroke badge. So here we go. Okay, again, so I'm actually mildly impressed at how well the badging and stuff ended up turning out uh you know it's just a little pieces of paint we're missing there but um as you can see it cleaned up pretty nicely got most of the adhesive off not trying to polish just that one little section obviously the rest of the truck is still dirty uh like i always say you know people will polish turds but at the end of the day smart people will polish what makes them happy so sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and i just didn't want those badges on there anymore so you make do. So, all right, next thing we're gonna do is probably take a look at the bumper here. Gotta figure out what size bolts we need in order to get them off. We'll take a look underneath the frame back here, just kind of check it all out. Um, but yeah, no, I just want that to be sitting straight again because from a distance, looking back at the truck, it, it just makes the bed look twisted, although it's not. The bed is not fully bolted down, completely tight, right up here in this corner up here. Um, You guys can kind of see it's a little should probably check it out see if we could put a spacer or a washer in there or check and see what exactly it is probably a loose bolt or a loose nut or something so we're gonna check it all out. okay so you can see right here don't mind this wiring i don't know exactly what this is what happened here but you can see right here that it's not fully adjusted correctly so it kind of like sags down and gives that like bent downward look. So we're gonna unbolt these, probably take the bumper off altogether, uh, lay these bars flat down on the ground and see if they're bent. So, and I believe it is also the same. Um, you can see how this one is in the hole here and then I'll come over to this side and the hole is completely off and missing. So uh, whoever put that in, obviously it wasn't paying attention or it was just kind of like a rush job. So we're gonna take this bumper off, 
Uh, we'll probably check it out, analyze the structural integrity of the bumper, and then probably reinstall it. So here we go. Okay, so we got the bumper off. Uh, we went ahead and taped up and just kind of cleaned up the wiring here. So anything that wasn't working, we taped off uh, with the exception of this ground here. I'm gonna try to hook this back up in a second. Um, but yeah, everything that's just hanging loose, we just taped it up. We'll get some conduit for it eventually when the bed comes back off uh, to do the frame, sand it down and probably put POR 15 on the frame. Uh, you know, that's, that's something we'll get into later on, uh, future endeavor more or less. So we just taped it off, cleaned it up, moved it out of the way for now. We're going to go ahead and get our bolts, clean our bolts off, clean the threading out, and then we will reinstall the bumper and hopefully it lines back up. So this is definitely a heavier bumper than I thought. So what we're going to do is pretty much just get it, um, cleaned up, clean off the, the mounting just to make sure it's all nice and lined up and then we'll hook it all back up. Okay, so after some convincing, some kicking and getting covered in dirt and stuff, we finally got the bumper adjusted. It looks pretty straight to me. Um, only thing is one of the holes doesn't necessarily line up. Not sure why that is. I think the actual bumper bracket was bent, but uh, nonetheless, that looks a lot better to me. So, I mean, if that works for me, then that's all that matters, so. But we did get the wires cleaned up and everything. The bumper's on there nice and steady. So, I mean, I can. So we got the bolts there. Um, and they, I mean, they line up. This is the only one that doesn't really go in. So we're just gonna leave that for right now. But other than that, we got it all hooked up and everything and it's nice and straight. So that's, that's the bonus there. So at some point we're gonna have to take a look at these filler necks the hoses are kinked i'm not gonna take them off right this minute i don't really want to mess with those and have fuel get everywhere not only that but with the s10 not driving uh we do need to have another vehicle that we can drive so we're gonna just leave it on there for right now we'll probably do some research on rock auto and probably see if we can get the right ones ordered did realize that in the winter time uh, i will need a new block heater again not going to worry about that right this minute uh, we're gonna wait. Uh, I don't wanna just buy parts, buy them at a time. I'd rather just get everything I need all at once. That way uh, we can keep pumping out content and not having to wait on you know parts and things like that. So that's kind of what the situation is like for the S10 right this minute. Uh, we're waiting on parts mutually. So I'm in the process of doing another video on the Power Stroke and doing a video on the S10. Cause like I said, on the S10, we have to fix the fuel sender and oil pressure indication uh, we got a malfunction there and then we have the cam sensor p1345 code so you know we're gonna have to tear into that like i said waiting on parts so but yeah so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content on the s10 make sure you subscribe post notifications hit those make sure they're active so every time we post a video on the s10 you'll see it if you want to see the black knight project that um, midnight customs is working on go check the channel link will be in the description uh power stroke this is the daily driver right now so not a whole lot of stuff we're going to be doing with that up until winter this will be our winter driver so it will be swapping between the vehicles so but with all, with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and as always we'll see you in the next one yeah god dang it